Yeah, you know, guys, Chewy from Tackle Tactics here. Just thought I'd run you through something a bit different. Um, just on a weekend away camping, and I'm going to do a bit of bait fishing for Grunter tonight. Or anything else that happens along, but Grunter will be what I'm chasing. Uh, the rig I use, you'll catch pretty much anything on. It's probably one of the easiest rigs to catch a feed, flathead, brim, Grunter, you know, Trevally, whatever. Uh, I'll also run you through how to, well, how I, I prepare the bait. For when I'm bait fishing for Grunter, I don't do it that often, but I do it once or twice a year, so I just thought I'd give you a bit of a run through. So basically all that I do for bait prep, uh, I've got a mullet fillet here and, and some squid, cut it in long thin triangles, about three inches long, just like so, it doesn't have to be anything too particular about it, something like that end up with a few a few squid baits there like so um, and the mullet it's pretty much just the same uh, probably take a piece that way so you're basically looking for a, a little triangular piece up on the end and that's the bit the hook will go through I'll show you how to rig them shortly just um, Just throw a few bits together like this. You can vary the size a bit, but that's about what you end up with. Something like that. I won't have a, a fish until the um, the sun goes down, but um, we're near on it. That's when the grunter will, um, will start to bite. Probably this afternoon, hopefully. Um, so as far as the rig goes, it's um, very simple, just got about 500 of 20 pound or 15 pound trace, I use a mustard bloodworm uh, number one maybe or a 1 something with a bit of size about it, long shank and just a number three or, or four uh, ball sinker. And that's about it. Just throw it out, leave it sit. You don't want to try and hook these grunter. So as far as hooking your bait up, if you just get a, a piece of squid, like I said, you just put it through the once like that and leave it sit. And that's all there is to it. Cast it out, let it sit. Don't try and hook the grunter. Just have um, a medium sort of a, a drag on and they'll hook themselves with these long, long hank, shanked hooks. Uh, I'm going to give, I've got a, a new bait fishing rod for tonight, it's the Akuma Lunaris, it's got a luminous tip on it, so hopefully you'll see it bending a bit later, just fishing with a little of Pixor, 20 with 10, 12 pound braid on it, so that's all there is to bait fishing for these guys, hopefully that, um, that'll come, come, all come good tonight, and um, we'll show you a few fish, thanks for that. Oh, it's species. Right. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. G'day guys, just jumped out for a bite to eat and um, thought I'd just show you this rubbly sort of stuff here that pushes up into the mangroves is the sort of area that I really like to fish on the top of the tide, the first of the out for the grunter. Um, they'll get up on this stuff, there's often little mussels and crabs and stuff in amongst all this rubble stuff mixed in with the mud. So yeah, just thought I'd give you a, a bit of a shot of, of what it actually looks like. You can see how, um, how rougher than that it is. And um, yeah, they get up here and the, the shrimps and the crabs and stuff get in amongst this stuff. So yeah, one of my favorite places to fish on the high tide spots like this.